Oh, the intake is turned around. That, I think that is an LS, maybe. Is that an LS? Yes, yeah, LS1. We have it up to about 460 horse now. Alrighty, so what I'll do is I'm going to do two people in the front, two people in the back, uh, in the middle, and then one person in the back with me. Aye, aye, Captain! Mind if I video? No, no, not at all. Where y'all from? Connecticut. Okay. Alright guys, so real quick we'll go over a couple safety features. <clears throat> in case of emergency, life jackets are located up front inside of that hatch. All the other safety equipment's underneath my seat inside the box. Life jackets up front, fire extinguisher, first aid kit, flare kit, horn, everything that we need is inside this box back here. Hopefully we won't need it. If we do need it, you're going to have to wipe off the cobwebs first. We never had to use it, so but we do check it. I'm just kidding about the cobwebs, by the way. No spiders on this boat. Uh, while we're going fast, you must remain seated when the boat stops. And uh, we turn the engine off, you're more than welcome to get up, walk around, look in the water, whatever you'd like. <clears throat> um, everyone should have a set of headphones, that's for when we're going fast. You will not need those while we're going slow, and I'll let you know well in advance when it's time to put those on. Uh, while we're out there, ask as many questions possible. Um, I'll have as many answers. If I don't have an answer for one of your questions, I'll make it up. And then we'll just Google when we get back. <laughs> uh, has anyone been on an airboat before? Yeah, we have. Okay, I don't right. think these have. So, First time, biggest thing, when we start doing backflips, make sure you hold on because people have fallen out. Yeah, right. And that is black. Looks like a squirrel's finally getting ready to use our little squirrel twirler. See over here on the tree? Oh yeah. We hung that up. They're supposed to like ride it and go in circles. <laughs> but we haven't seen them do it yet. <laughs> so the area we're starting out in, this is called Ozello. Ozello is a is a community of Crystal River, so it's not an established town uh, or a city. Now, if you approach any of the locals, I wouldn't bring that up because they think that it's their own state sensitive to it. So. <laughs>
are all island homes. There's no roads out here. The only way you can get to them is by boat or swim. <laughs> Stopping by to say hi. <laughs> Good, how you been? This is Miss Bonnie. She is the most reputable person in our area. She supplies everyone with fresh bait daily. Alright. Fresh bait and ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> I like the big shrimp. He's doing a YouTube channel video right now too. Oh yeah? Yeah, he's got his uh, well I just wanted to stop by and say oh, hi. Thanks. Yes ma'am, you have a today, guys. See ya, thanks. <laughs> What's up? So we're out in the middle of the St. Martin's Keys right now. All this green that you see everywhere, way out there, all these, these island looking things. None of these are actual islands because there's really no hard surface. They're just plants called black mangroves. They have these big root systems that grow straight into the shallower water areas. The water is so clear out here and the ecosystem is so strong is really because of these mangroves. What they do is they filter water. So they'll absorb the water through the roots and then the branches and the leaves are the filtration system and it filters a lot of that heavy sodium and salt water within this water, turns it into oxygen, oxidizes the water but also releases it into the air for us. The black mangrove is the number one producing oxygen plant for any salt water species plant. Wow, that's even good. Even more so than the salt marsh. Wow. So right behind his boat, you kind of see like the difference in the water. Yeah. And that's yeah. a spring right there. Oh, see it coming up? Yeah. This, this is all a lime rock based bottom. Okay. Um, so you got a little bit of silt and, right. and grass covering it. Like you can see over there, it's that little clear patch yeah. right over there. Okay. So that, that's yeah. a good perspective of where the firm bottom is. Yeah. Right now it's a real low tide. Uh, usually, you know, a high tide. It's yeah, at the, you can see the, where it is. Yeah, exactly. So it's a low tide, but this is still a shallow water coast. Uh, it's the shallowest coast on the state of Florida. The rule of thumb is for every mile you enter the Gulf of Mexico, it's only one foot deep. Holy cow. Wow. So 10 miles out, 10 feet deep, 50 miles, 50 feet deep. Wow. And it does two nice things. One, it'll slow down heavy um, storm systems. Yeah. Um, tropical depressions, you know, underwater depressions. My favorite That's part. That's it doesn't get hit as hard, right? It, exactly. It always slows down. The storm will always slow down. get it up on the panhandle. Yep. Stuff. Huh. Um, but my favorite part about the shallow coast, you'll never see a cruise ship pass by. Ah, uh, right. <laughs> Until they cut an intercoastal yeah, through, like exactly. an Indian River on the other side. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> there's no divers here uh, weekends if, yeah I mean you see s some people come out and dive a lot of this is kind of well unknown um, uh, we did have one diver uh, Jim Cummings that died in one of these caves out here oh just got lost off to it a little bit. yeah it turns it <laughs> off <laughs> huh. wow. this that whole area is just filled with stuff like this springs and caves and you guys see that new 
power plant over there. Yeah. Was nuke. They, it was nuke. Yeah, they yeah. commissioned it two years ago now. Yeah, it's coal and gas now, I guess. Uh, yep. You didn't watch my last video. Nope. I've been on vacation. Uh, so the one, the tower on the right with the white smoke, that's yeah, the first Halloween. of the natural gas towers. Okay. And then the three in the middle are the middle of the coal, but they're de they decommissioned those. Oh, they did yeah. the coal, yeah. Yeah, they're getting ready to tear those down. Yeah. Unfortunately, nuclear is the cleanest form of energy. Of course, yes. yeah. Until uh, it breaks down. Until it breaks down. And <laughs> this is one of the bigger springs here. Wow. Oh, that's huge. Wow. It's like 30 feet across. Yep. 40. And it goes about 60 feet down. Yeah, that's a little cave system right there that you're supposed those fish are coming in and out of. Okay. Oh, uh, but this goes 60 feet, almost like a funnel down. And then there's a crack at the bottom of it, which is the spring. You know, the manatee's oh, yeah. natural home is out in the Gulf of Mexico. Right. They flood into the springs when it gets cold because they're, they're solid muscle. They're, your average 4 to 7 bo percent body fat. So they're solid muscle, so they get cold stressed easily. So they don't they, look it, though. Yeah. No, <laughs> it looks like they, it's the other feel way one, they, they feel like a potato. So they come in here to find, because we have those seven rivers, flows out into the Gulf, so they can actually track where that warm water's coming from. Uh, so when it starts getting cold, this is like their route to get into the rivers and the springs. If you kind of look out to the right, there's black... They kind of look like rocks or tractor oh, tires. Nice. See them out there? Oh, yeah. Uh, that's the sponge. Oh. So that's the oldest known living life form in the world, the loggerhead sponge. <laughs> really? Now, I'm a gentleman, so I've never asked this true age, but I know it's old. <laughs> oh, starfish. Oh, yeah. I haven't seen a live starfish in a long time. Is that a sponge there? Yes, sir, it is. Wow, that's a huge one. That's the oldest living life form. That's the oldest known living life form. Job too. You can cater to just you know six people at a time, one family, instead of you know answering the same question five six times and everyone else getting annoyed. So it's the the private's the way to go for sure. So oh. we, we run a lot more tours because of that and spend a lot more gas, but at the end of the day, it's worth it. Yeah. After the scalloping, the other marina and home assassin started becoming real a lot more successful. And then I always ran this boat for three years now as a subcontractor for two other owners. And the last owner decided he was going to sell it and couldn't keep up with it. And I 
he was telling me that one day, and I said, well, before you do that, hold on one second. Perfect. And I pretty much showed up at home one day, and my wife said, how was your day? I said, oh, it was good. You know, <laughs> did some airboat trips, went over to the kayak shop, checked on everything there. And I bought a business. Bought yeah, we own marina. it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Say, what? <laughs> bought a marina? Uh, yeah, I went and checked on the uh, kayak business. And she said, no, no, after that. Oh, you mean bought a marina? Yeah, by the way, we got to be there tomorrow to start signing deals. Uh. <laughs> so, Excellent. We have a restaurant upstairs. We have the campgrounds over there in the corner. Thank you. How's it been treating you so far? She has little T-Rex arms, we always say. <laughs> <you know? laughs> well, guys, thank you all very much. Yeah, I appreciate thanks. you. Yeah, thank you. Enjoy thanks, nice man. You guys. Nice meeting you. Uh, check out this you guys have a good morning. I didn't really do many videos since I was down here. Oh, awesome. I still have like little... Oh, I should give one for Bill, too. Yeah, he would love that. Yeah. What's that? Let's have one of them. Yeah. <laughs> Ask my son. You gotta give me your Jeep, Andrew. Thank you. Good deal. Oh, I'm excited. Oh my god, what an awesome time. Captain Gary and Bill really know their stuff. So if you're ever over on the west coast of Florida, in Crystal River area, be sure to stop in and take a ride. Tell them Moto Cheese sent you. <laughs> hey, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We love to hear what you have to say. Hit that bell if you want notifications on new videos. I have links for all of the products I use in the description and on MotorCheese.com. Thanks for watching.